What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Energy Healing Tarot 123. It's your girl, Empress Jim, here to drop some jewels. So, this month's special read for October will be a Mercury retrograde read, being that it's taking place. So, Libra, you guys are our first general messages, guys. However, Libra falls in your chart. Take what's for you, leave the rest behind. Any event, continue to show your girl that love and support. I appreciate it and I thank you. Like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on one of those social media platforms. Book those personals. Shop the website, mnmenergy.com. All our information is listed below. So, guys, we got a lot of Oracle messages we're going to really get here today. Um, and I pulled out the Hillbilly deck. So, if you guys seen the weekend vibes, then you know what that Hillbilly spread and that Hillbilly deck talk about. So, very relevant for um, Mercury Retrograde. Okay, so very, very relevant. But, um, or looking into any karmic type of old past situation, any drama, bullshit. What's this bullshit? You know, that's what retrograde generally brings us is some bullshit. So, yes, guys, we're just gonna um, get you shuffled up so we can get this message. Everything else has had its little free shuffle done. Um, Right now, for everybody, it's just, look, it's Mercury Retrograde. I want to be as shocked and surprised with the cards as you guys. I just make sure I clear the cards between each energy because I want to be just as shocked as y'all, okay? So we're actually not going to start with this deck. We're going to start with the Enigma deck. We're going to see what you get out of here, okay? What's underneath really doesn't matter. So, ooh, okay, let's get one message out for Libra, please. One message for Libra. One message for Libra, please. Spirit, we thank you. You guys got the moth. Somebody attracted to you like a light and a flame with the crystal underneath. You guys, yes, this has little reading charts. So, the moth. These are cycles here, okay? Somebody, like I said, attracted to you like a flame, like, like a moth to a flame. Somebody's obsessed here with you, okay? But it also has to deal with cycles, 23, breaking down to a 5. Changes taking place in the cycles in your life here, okay? You're getting to the core issues here with this crystal energy here. So that is what we're looking at. The core issues of some serious cycles, some obsessive people, possessed people. Ooh, possessed, scary. <laughs> but yes, we're going to look into that for Mercury Retrograde. That's what you guys are definitely dealing with. You're dealing with people who are attracted to you like a moth in a flame. People who are highly obsessed with you. Okay, I feel like you're finally getting to resolve this. You're probably going to be able to eliminate these people. Or the universe is going to take care of it for you. Just knock these folks out of your energy. So, uh, let's see, Spirit. What messages do we have here for Libra? Up to three. We don't want too many. Peace. One card here. We got peace. All right. I am being, I'm a being of love and I release all negative energy. So yeah, this is you closing out cycles and finally getting rid of folks, this Mercury retrograde here, okay? I just feel like all the transits is just really making do for you, okay? You are now starting to follow and, you know, flow with your purpose here. You know what your purpose is and you're starting to cut out people who are no longer so serving your purpose and your highest good. Oh, I am stuttering all over my words. I feel like I was like that when I started recording. Um... The weeklies. But anyway, yeah, especially with that piece here, that's um, throat chakra energy. And yeah, I'm like, it's a stutter. It's a trying to get the words out. I mean, but you need to make peace with the situation. Um, if you are having a hard time, you know, just speaking up and getting to the core issue, you know, here. It's like the big ass elephant in the room. Nobody wants to address the elephant. Libra, it's time for you to address the elephant, especially with you like representing injustice and the legal system and, you know, shit like that. It's time for you to do what's best, what's right, you know, and just like, you know, balance the scales here in the situation and just speak up. Air sign, okay? So, we did shuffle this. We'll get your one card off here. Lantern Fury. Yeah, a clear solution. Um, I'm picking up Hermit energy here. You know, as they're holding it, it reminds me of the Hermit, okay? But I feel that you know already, or you've illuminated this situation, or like what the issue is has been illuminated to you. Okay, there's a clear solution here to bring you peace, but it's a matter of you just addressing it and, you know, allowing this 
true, clear solution to happen. Glamour, intrigue, and drama. Yeah, because there will be drama. This is also 14, breaking down to a five again, okay? Changes. This change will cause drama that you do know. But again, do you want peace? That's what it's about. Closing out these cycles so that you can have peace or you can continue to have this drama. It's time to get to the, what's the issue here? That's what I'm, that's what I'm hearing is, what's the issue? See how that, what's the issue? We got a problem here. What's the issue? That's what, that's what that energy is, okay? So let's see here, guys. Let's get your shuffle on. Five is very uh, thirsty number. Thirsty. Somebody's thirsty. Thirsty for your attention. That damn moth. This person who's obsessed with you. All right. Let's see what we got for you, Libra. Just let it go. Let them go. They want to fight. You don't. Ain't nobody got time for that. Like truly and entirely. Slippery slopes, slippery sticky situation. Somebody trying to keep you or put you in a sticky situation here. Mm -mm. We're not dealing with that. So, huh, courage. Yeah, you're going to need the courage here, the courage to really do what it is that you need to do. Find a deep within your heart here to just come forward. I do see, but yeah, I was picking up the number six heavy too. It could be a family dynamic, a group of friends or whatever. The number six, something maybe took place in June six months ago. Something as old as even six years ago. But I feel like now it's time for you to just face it and just close this out. Also, yeah, with the number seven, um, you know, a seven year cycle. But now it's just, it's like it's time for you to have the energy and the courage here. Yeah, to close it out, completion. To bring it to completion, to close it out because you are self-sufficient. You are enough. Okay. You know your purpose now. You know the purpose that they serve in your life and you know that you don't need to deal with them anymore. Don't need to have them around in your life anymore. Okay. Yeah, you need to do it quickly. I feel like um, this is this is your this is the perfect time. I feel like especially with this quickness, you need to get it done, especially probably before your season ends. I'm hearing before the end of Libra season. Um, before this weekend is out and we get ready to transition into Scorpio. OK, like right now, at the beginning of this re retrograde, you just need to handle this. This is lots of fire energy here. Action, action, action. Go, go, go. It's go time. Like it's legit go time. It's go time. Yeah, because it's over. Somebody already knows that it's over too here. Um, tower energy. This is Aries for me, Leo Sagittarius, as well as Scorpio. This is definitely showing up as big Sagittarius energy here. But um, yeah, the, the lightning has struck. The tower is on fire. The people are falling out. Like these folks know that. They know that it's over. Like I said, the elephant in the room. It's like, um, and literally I'm just seeing like a house on fire and everybody's just sitting there burning up and just feeling okay with it. Instead of people getting up and running out or, you know, um, getting a fire extinguisher and putting out the fire. You're just sitting there watching the fire. Like, why? It, it, just close this out. It's time to complete this, like, totally and entirely. Like, this is done. This is done. It's time to let this go completely and entirely. Close out this cycle. Divine time is at play, too. I see, like, three sevens in your whole spread on your board. It's time. With these fives and these sevens, it's time. It is really, really time. You really need to have the courage, though, to just address the elephant in the room. Get to the core of the issue because it's already over. Whatever this is, it's already over, okay? Yeah. You want peace, satisfaction. I can't get no satisfaction. So you need to quickly have the courage to dead off this situation. Like, seriously. Reach this... I've, and it's not even reached the resolution. I feel like you have the solution, the resolution, the answer key, the back of the book, all of that. You have it, but you're just not acting on it. You need to have the courage. You know the purpose. Stick with the purpose. You have to have the courage to go forward and do this here. You do. What is this? Yes. 
You sit here in this stuck energy, using the stagnant energy. You got baptized. You you got the truth. You know what the hell's going on now. Cancerian energy. You know what's going on. You know exactly what it is that you need to do now. So now it's time to act on it. Okay? What are you worried about here, Libra? You're worried on working on taking this step? You're worried that you're going to miss out or lose something? No, I don't see that. I see that you finally, you know, having peace in your life. Hold on, guys. Okay. But yeah, so like I was saying, what are you worried about? The time on it has already happened. So it seems to be also that, yeah, people are also worried. The folks around you already know that it's coming here. Okay? They know that it's coming. They've watched you go through this transformation. You find your purpose during this baptism. Okay? During this stagnant energy, during that hangman energy. You rebirth and found yourself again. And they see this. And this is also what they're worried. These are people who are also worried about this. But also see that you are possessing this worry here as well. This could deal with like a family dynamic, you know, possibly having to turn your back on your family or your parents or what that, whatever. You feel like it's a sin. You feel like, you know, it's, you feel uncomfortable. But it's over. They're ruining your satisfaction. They're ruining your happiness. They're taking away your peace of mind. And that's the true sin at hand here. Let these people worry all they want. The tower has already happened. I feel like they've also caused tower moments in your life that has ruined a lot of the shit that you went through. And what hits why you had to go through this baptism stage, why you had to go in Hagman so that you can find your purpose again. OK, so that you can see the beauty back in yourself. And now that that is done and over and you have regained this strength and this knowledge and you you know your purpose here. OK, it's time for you to address this drama. It's time for you to address this elephant in the room. OK. Yeah. Folks are going to be upset and disappointed, but do you want to be disappointed too? Like for what? It's time to change this. That's another five. It's time to change this. Change your mindset. Change the people you're around. You know, just tell folks what it is. Come out of this hermit mode and just tell folks what the hell it is. Hate it or love it, but you're going to shine. Go ahead and V you. Okay, divine time is at play here, not playing with you, okay, not playing, not playing, all right? This is Leo energy in this card, but we also know this to be Sagittarius with temperance. But, you know, again, they got that Leo image here with the little kitty cat, okay? But be in your power, step in your domain, you understand what your purpose is, um, keep balancing yourself out here, Okay. Have the courage. You have the angels protecting you. They're with you. They're here to support you. Allow this change to take place, okay? Divine timing is coming in to allow this change to take place so that you can have peace in your life, all right? Yes. Fight the bear, okay? Address the elephant in the room. Address the bear in the room, okay? Um, red dawn, you've been warned. Red night, take flight. I feel like that's more of the morning. The sun coming up. Red dawn, you've been warned. Be be cautious here. You know, tread lightly. Um, one of my favorite proverbs is the African proverb is um, about the man. It's he who you walk, you talk soft, but you carry a loud stick. Okay? So... You ain't got to say too much. Say enough to keep your peace, but then you, you show them. You do what you need to do, okay? You face this bear, okay? Again, you know things. You already know the solution. They know that you're coming too. They knew that since this time moment, that shit was over. They knew essentially also that what they were doing to you, all the drama and the issues that they were trying to cause in your life, they knew that that was going to ruin your satisfaction. That was going to ruin your peace. And they were fighting as hard as they could to ruin your peace. So you need to now fight as hard as you can to regain it. Understand and know your purpose here, okay? Call a truce to this. Call a truce to any old mindset beliefs that you have, you know, and feeling that you, you oh, I can't turn my back on my family, or on my mom, or on my dad, or on my grand, whatever. If these people have been doing you wrong and been holding you back and making you feel low, it's time for you to step in your power, okay? I'm hearing 40 year old version. Yeah, 40 year old version. 
honey, you got to get moving, Libra. You got to take action here. There's jealous people around you, okay? You need to come. I feel like you need to go and talk to this energy, this fire sign here, Aries, Zero, Sagittarius. I feel like this is the energy that is around you that knows some shit, okay? This person knows that what they did to you was wrong, okay? This could be, um, I'm hearing third-party energy as some chick who tried to, like, come in and mess with your relationship or whatever. Hell, look, I'm feeling a cousin because I keep picking up family energy. It was a scent. It wasn't right. Like, you knew it wasn't right. I feel like I'm picking up the scenario of, like, you got that fat, um, what the hell is her name? And freaking soul food. Y'all know who I'm talking about. But that cousin. But I don't feel like something necessarily happened, but she just kept pushing or he. They kept pushing up on your person or whatever. Or just trying to take from you. This person just constantly trying to take from you, okay? Yeah, they're upset. And this person, they're attracted to you like a moth to a flame. They want everything that you have here. Cause any type of drama, make you the black sheep, make people look not whatever, make you feel like you ain't about shit. But you know your purpose here. And the the center issue of all of this is this is a karmic bitch. This is a hater. She's jealous as hell with them green ass envious eyes, okay? She probably stuffed her damn bra, okay? She's jealous as hell. Jealous of what you know, what you possess, the power that you hold, okay? Your beauty, your purpose. This person is disappointed and upset. They also could be also disappointed and upset that they can't change you because you're protected by the angels. Okay? So, Spirit, we thank you. Let's close out with this monology here. The Libra. You got one more? Okay. It says the energy is gaining moment momentum. Waxing moon. Okay? The energy is gaining momentum. Especially um, as we get ready to go towards Halloween, towards the end of retrograde-ish. Yeah, it will definitely pick up. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. We have a full moon. Well, we have an eclipse in November and in December. I'm not sure if they're under the full moon. The November one definitely could be. I'm not sure if it takes place. I'm not an astrologer. I just get my bits and pieces from those that I know. And then you have don't let your past hold you back. South node. So, yeah. Okay, Mercury retrograde, we know what it'll be about. Nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon, mutable energy, okay? That's like your Sagittarius, your Gemini, your Virgo, and I always try to remember who the water baby is, and I always forget, so forgive me, water baby, for not remembering who's the mutable. I believe it might be Pisces. I think it might be Pisces, and I think Cancer is fixed, so, or no, Cardinal. Cancer is a carnal, if I'm not mistaken, but whatever. Y'all comment below if y'all know, whatever. But um, Spirit, we thank you. Let's get that rebel bitch because we need attitudes for... Um... Oh, I'm going to let her talk. Oh, the rebel's going to give us all the information for Mercury Retrograde because you need to have her in your life. So it says, whatever you're thinking about doing, don't do it. Now's not the fucking time. Okay, fuck shit is about to get real. Fuck, you need your people around you. Okay, so some of you guys, especially with the sin that I'm picking up, don't go on here and do no whole shit. You know, I don't have to say it. You know, money make it rain. Okay, strip club. I I was picking it up in the beginning, but I was just like, you know, whatever. Don't. The stripper only wants you for the money that you throw in. She don't really care about you. She's going to take you for everything you got and be gone. She's attracted to you like a moth in a flame because you got money. You will be highly disappointed if you give in to this hoe. Don't. Okay? Had to say it. Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? <laughs> Stay grounded, guys. Follow your intuition. And then you will need to do some speaking up a little bit because it says, Don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards. Mercury retrograde in full effect. You equals a tight ass. It's time for you to face fucking reality or you can live in la la land. Choose bravely. I pretty much summarized that up, but that is the gist of that. So yes, Libra, that has been your Mercury retrograde reading for October 2020. I know you guys know what to do with this information. If you need a personal, you already know what to do. Until the next time we speak, peace out.